Hi everyone, let's solve today's daily challenge that is shortest path with alternating colors. In this question, we are given an integer n and the number of nodes in a directed graph where the nodes are labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and each edge is red or blue in this graph and there could be self edges or parallel edges. Now we are given two arrays, red edges and blue edges where red edges um, is equal to ai bi basically indicates that there is a red edge between a and b and similarly blue edges uh, defines that uh, there is a blue edge between u and b right two nodes and uh, then we have to return an array answer of length n where each answer x is the length of the shortest path from node 0 to node x such that the edge colors alternating along the path or minus 1 if such a path does not exist so let's see what the question is so let's create a graph so let's take the graph that is given in the question so it's saying it has three nodes and the red edges are from 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 and blue edges there are no blue edges in this graph so let's create so this is the 0th node this is 1th node and this is second node so from uh, 0 to 1 there is a red edge and from 1 to 2 there is a red edge now what we want to do is we want to traverse from this particular 0th node to all the other nodes so let me take another colored pen or uh, let's take black pen here okay so from a 0th node we have to traverse and we have to find an alternating path so from so we have an array so here this these indexes uh, denote the nodes right from 0 to 0 node we can go from 0 to 1 node if we go and from 0 to 2 node if we go then we have to uh, find out the shortest length of the alternating color path okay so from uh, 0 to 0 uh, the distance will be 0 obviously so we will just put 0 here and from 0 to 1 if we go as uh, there is we can only go one uh, step ahead right and we have a red edge here so because we cannot have two edges between here then we can simply say that there is a red edge so we'll simply put one here right as we cannot have two edges here right then from uh, one to two if we go from one to two if we go this is also a red edge but the condition is that we sh it, these should be alternating right that if there is a previous edge which is red then this sh this edge should be blue right but it is red so uh, and there are no other paths th from where we can reach this two, right? So we can say that there is no path with alternating color pattern. So we will simply put minus one if we don't find any path. So this is the answer array that we will get. So let me erase it. Let me take another example. Let me see if I have a graph a zero, one and two and three let's say we have this graph and from zero to one we have a red edge and from um two to three we have a red edge and from um one to two we have a blue edge so now again let's create our answer array so we will have uh, four values here that are the nodes zero one two and three so for zeroth position we know that uh, from zero to zero we cannot have any edge so that the distance will be zero there will be zero steps right because we are reaching only the zeroth um, node so we will have distance as zero then from zero to one if we go we find there is a red edge right and as there is no previous edge then uh, we have to put one here right then from one to two if we go so we can see that there here is a red edge and when we come here we can see this is a blue edge and the edge that it previously ha had was red right so it is an alternating edge so from 0 to 2 the length will be 2 right and for our 3 if we check this is a red edge right so its previous edge should be blue right so which is which it is right so we will simply put 3 in here so this is the answer that we will be getting so uh, now i hope you have got the question what the question is asking and what we have to return now let's see how we'll be solving it so one thing that we can uh, see here is that we are visiting each and every node from the 0th node. So, we are basically traversing the graph. So, graph traversal can be done in two ways that is DFS and BFS, right? 
so um, bfs is used to calculate wherever we need the shortest distance right bfs is used so in this case also we will be using bfs so let's see what we will be doing so so we will be using bfs but uh, this bfs would not be the normal bfs the bfs will be with some constraint right we have to also check the path so what we'll do is we will simply associate these edges we'll simply associate these edges with their colors right so what we'll do is instead of making a queue to represent a particular node right we will have a node and also the color of that particular edge right similarly now uh, we always need a uh, visited array right so here we will not be making a visited array instead we'll be making a distance array okay uh, this will contain we can say distance list it will contain all the nodes n and it will also have a uh, two values inside of it so those two values will be initialized to infinity right so this this is for the distance right initially the distances will be infinity so whenever we'll be you know at any node if we want to check whether that node has been visited or not we'll simply check this distance um, array if for that corresponding node the values for so now why do we have these two values let's, well, let's first discuss that we will so these are to represent the two colors right so the previous edge can be blue colored or it can be red colored so we can also have a condition like this also right that uh, we have a red edge as well as a blue edge similarly here also we can have another red edge so we can have a graph like this also so we at each and every node we have two kind of we can have two kind of edges right one is red and one is blue so we will be considering both the possibilities and that's why we are taking we are taking these two values right that if the previous one was blue or if the previous one was red so we'll be denoting um, the distances for these two edges here right so that is for the distance and we'll for to check whether it was visited or not we'll simply check here right if these values are infinity then that means it has not been visited right now let's um, so this is the queue that we'll be making and this is the distance array that we'll be doing and using these uh, will be forming our solution. So let's jump to the coding part and then in between we will also understand what we are doing. Right. So uh, also first of all we have to create a graph. So I'll be creating an adjacency list to represent this graph. Okay. So let's first make our adjacency list here. So that adjacency list also will contain um, edges for both the colors. Right. So as I said what we'll be doing is First, let's create our graph. So this graph will be containing, okay, two values, right? That is, this first value will represent that particular node and uh, the edge for that particular node, right? So let's create the graph, right? So this is the node and this is the color of the edge that it contains so let's create the graph so for um, auto edge auto edge in uh, red edges what we'll do we'll say graph of uh, this edge zero dot push back we'll put the two values here that is whatever we have inside of this edge and also uh, the color right so red edge will be denoting with zero so this will put here and similarly for blue edges we'll create we'll have a uh, blue here right and uh, we'll be having one here okay now our graph is complete now what we'll do first we have to create our queue it will contain two values right as we discussed that is the node and the color right so first let's push um 0th node inside of it having 0 edge 
and also for the it can also have a, re, a blue edge also right so here will be putting one right so let me write here a zero is zero represents represents a red edge and one represents blue edge okay now what we'll do we'll create a vector um vector of vector int comma int right what it will contain it is called distance and it will contain n values right and will initialize each of these vectors with um two values right two values and they will be initialized to end of max now what we'll do now for a uh, zeroth um we need okay where is our graph did i erase it okay let's create it again um so let's okay right so for zero if we check if we have a blue edge here right or if we have a red edge here we can have right so both the possibilities we have to consider but the distance for both of these edges will remain zero right so let's initialize the distance of zero comma zero that is for the red edge it will be zero and for a distance zero comma one for blue edge that will also be zero now we'll traverse now we'll all do our uh, bfs traversal we'll simply check if the queue is empty or not so what we'll do uh first we'll let's take the particular node inside of uh, a variable q dot run dot first right the first value is the node and the second value is the color right so q dot run dot second now uh, we will also pop it out outside of the queue now what we'll do uh, we will check the adjacent elements of this particular node inside of the graph right so let's say adjacent auto adjacent in for this particular node we will check inside of the graph right again let's uh, take the nodes node of it of this adjacent out um, so we will have adjacent dot first and um, adjacent color also which will be uh, adjacent dot second right now we will check right if uh, in the distance array if for this particular uh, node this adjacent node with this adjacent color right if it is equal equal int max that is it has not been yet visited and also the color is not equal to um, this color that we are considering right now right the previous edge color should not be the same with the color that we have it should not be equal to adjacent color then we will be entering into this condition and what we'll do we will update this distance to the distance we had until this point right and plus one right so we'll just say distance of this particular node adjacent node and adjacent color it should be equal to one plus the previous distance that we have that is a uh, node color right also we will push this uh, node for further uh, to calculate further nodes if we have any inside of the queue right so we'll simply just put it inside of the queue so after we are done with this after we are done with this uh, making this distance uh, array then what we'll do we will make our resultant array result right initially it will have n elements right for n elements and they will all should all be initialized with minus one 
then for each and every node we'll traverse in this um, loop and for each and every uh, color right we will be checking if uh, distance of um, i comma zero represents red if it is not equal to int max right and and oh sorry otherwise we'll be having a distance of um, i right that particular node and for blue color right if it is also not equal to int max then what we'll do we'll simply update result of i to the minimum of both the edges right because we have two ways to uh, reach to a particular node right if we consider a blue edge or if we consider a red edge so for both the possibilities uh, we are taking the minimum out of them right so we will put the minimum inside of this result right so we'll simply say minimum of distance of i zero that is the red color and the distance of uh, i and the blue color right and after this loop we will simply return our result okay so this is what we have to do so first what we are doing is we are creating our adjacency matrix right sorry adjacency list and inside of that we have two values right first is the edge and the second value is the color of that edge so we have zero here and for blue edges we are representing representing them as one then we will create our queue this queue will also contain this is to represent a node and this is to represent the color right uh, uh, this color is basically the previous edge color right and then we'll, for both the possibilities we will push them inside of the queue and then we will create this distance uh, vector right what this distance vector will contain it will contain all the n nodes and along with that uh, the distance that we will get if we are considering the previous edges blue or if we are considering the previous edges red and then at, at zero we know uh, whatever the edge it be um, it will be the distance will only be zero so that is uh, what we have initialized here and then inside of this while loop we are traversing for each and every uh, node inside of the queue and we are considering um, that particular node at each iteration and we are checking the adjacent nodes of that particular node and then what we have to check is we have to check right whether that node the color of the previous edge is not equal to the color of the edge that we have and it has also not been uh, visited so how are we checking if it is equal to infinity that means it has not been visited yet so we are considering all those edges here and we will simply update the distance to one plus whatever the distance we have for that particular node and then also we will push it inside of the queue and here after uh, we are done with the traversal we will simply make a resultant vector and inside of this vector we will be having a for loop for each and every node and for each and every node for um, both the possibilities we will check if any of those has been visited or any of those exist right that means they are not infinity then we will put the result inside of this resultant uh, that for that particular index and that is what we have returned so let's quickly run it okay so there is some error okay what happened so it's saying that we can't have vector base and we can't initialize it okay let's um, see here um that's uh, what i have done right but why is it not mm -hmm. I 
there a problem with initializing it? I don't know what the problem is. Let me just copy this from here. And let me just put it here. And then just run it. Okay, so it has been accepted. So let's submit it. So that is how we have to solve this question.